Uh, my name is Violet. I'm a junior and a music business major, and my show is called Smooth Vibes with Violet. What's up? This is DJ Gianni. This is DJ Matt Black, and you're listening to the Hip Hop Hermits Radio Show. My name I'm Zach, uh, Zach Free, and my show is called Radio Free. Yep. So we're Sports with Van, and I'm Nick, the Angry Bostonian. And I'm Andrew, I'm the People's Champ. Um, I'm Vincent Palmieri. I started the whole show four years ago. And I'm Nick Lombardi. I'm a correspondent that comes in every once in a while. And my DJ name is Ashley Doni, same as me. Um, the title of my show is Fifty Shades of Ashley. My DJ name is Amy Keywortham's, and my major is Music Education and Performance. Hey guys, I'm Justin Minster. Um, I co-host Amy Key Keywortham's with Eric. My name is Alyssa Delvalle, my radio show is called Asterisk, and I am a communications major. kind of knew about the radio station because like my friends would have radio shows like remember Abby's radio show yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's how, my, yeah. that was my first introduction to it yeah. oh my gosh my mom was actually my mom went here in the 80s and she was a member of the radio station way back in the 80s <laughs> so she told me about it <laughs> I found out about the radio show from basically just uh, I saw advertisements and like little promotional posters everywhere It was right around the time that I was deciding that I wanted to be a music major um, and I thought that it would be a really cool way to meet more music majors and just like people that are passionate about music in general. I felt that it was a good opportunity to for me to experience and get practice in the music field so that when I get to the real world it wouldn't be a, a hard task for me. I'll be able to attack on it, you know, right then and there. My roommate Danielle joined and I kept coming to her shows and I really enjoyed everything that I was doing and that she was doing so I decided that it would be a lot of fun. You know we wanted to, this was a couple years ago, this was well, years ago, this was uh, fall of 2011. Uh, our other guy in there, Vince, he wanted to do a show and uh, we kind of were people like-minded people who kind of argued sports all the time. and. Uh, he asked us to be to come aboard, and we're like, yeah. Um, I mean, we do a two-hour sports talk show, and we break it up nicely. We do um, about 15 minutes for each of the four major sports: basketball, baseball, fo football, and hockey. We, so we do segments where, like, we each pick the best performer from the sports world for the week, or the worst performer, or the segment called "Really," where we pick something that like made us mad in the world of sports, and then just go on and get angry about it for two minutes, and you know. Usually gets pretty funny where I'm usually the one who gets the most angry, but hence his name, the angry bus. Yeah. <laughs> Joe is called Asterisk, and an asterisk, like a little star, it kind of symbolizes the stars that aren't really played on the radio. So I try to play student artists and YouTubers that I listen to, or just artists that aren't extremely popular on radio right now. Well, so far, every week I have an artist of the week and it's usually a student, well it always is a student because the Artist of the Week is focused on Manhattanville students. So I've had Matt Relevo, um, Andre Blue, I've had Raina be one of the Artists of the Week and this week it's going to be Ben Rosner. Our radio show is called the Hip Hop Hermits Radio Show and um, basically it's the name comes from people like us, this hermits who we like to call ourselves that we're just like People who just like don't really go outside much and just online, just like looking at hip hop stuff all day. So that was like a part of our lives at one point, it still is. And um, yeah, that's like who it's supposed to appeal to. We just do interviews with different artists, you know, whether it be R&B or hip hop. You know, not strictly hip hop, but you know, that's like the focal point of our show. We interview um, hip hop artists, and we're hoping to get bigger artists. So if anybody out there is watching this right now. <laughs> You know, we're always available for an interview if you want to interview us, so. We're in the studio with Nelquan Jones. What's up, what's up, y'all? From Buffalo, New York. Yeah, Bilo! 716. And you wrote a song about Buffalo, New York? Like, yeah, uh, I did. Yeah, Do you yeah. want to talk about that? 
Um, well, basically, Buffalo is kind of, it's really depressing. I guess everyone might say that people who are from small towns, once they move to big cities, it's really depressing. But it's always home. So I figured, you know, I wanted to make a song where it's like, I appreciated my city, but I also talked about some of the, the perils of the city, some of the things I would hope to see happen to the city. And whenever I can go out and like bring something back to my city, that's what I hope to do in the future. So I think that's what that song is about. Urban Live is this Friday. Have you guys been seeing promotion on social media about it? Yeah? Okay, it's this Friday at um, 7 o'clock in the pub. And, you know, we'll love for you guys to come out. We have some R&B performances, some hip hop performances, and a cypher. I wanted to grow in you. Keep me warm because I'm iron deficient. I'm not strong enough to do it on my own. With you rest my sanity. Peace of mind wrapped around your heart. See, I was only made to love you. I think the events are awesome. Um, I thought Urban Live just passed this past Friday. It was really cool. Um, I know that uh, the board works really hard to put on the events, um, and I think they turn out really well. Um, we also do the local music fest every year, um, which is really cool. It's just like a big two-day music fest of like local performers, student performers, usually like a headliner. Um, so yeah, just live music in general. We do a lot of it, and I think it goes really well. I like to believe, being a music major, that music is everywhere, music ties us everywhere, so using that to create a community is one of the best things that a college could do. Well, just like our tagline, I think the radio station is the pulse of Manhattanville. It's the beat that keeps Manhattanville going. great way to get yourself out there. Some people, you know, they don't, if you feel like maybe you're on the fringe sometimes, it's a good way to get your voice out there. So, I think, you know, it gives students that, an opportunity to stand up and do something they've never done before. I should have joined a long time ago. I thought it was going to be very intimidating when I saw the soundboard. I, I just saw buttons and I didn't know what to do. But that's what you intern for. And once I interned and learned how everything worked, it's easy even if you like don't plan on doing something with the radio it's just it's just good to do yeah it's fun yeah. and you know now when I leave Manhattanville I could be like I was you know a radio DJ back in college that sounds cool to say. yeah so just do it yeah